Hi, I'm Miss Hillary, and I would love to share with you one of the new spaces we have here at the school, our sensory path. It's intended for all the senses to be stimulated, and it's easy for the children to walk through one at a time and to feel the things with their bare feet. It's proven to release stress and aggression in all children of all ages, and it keeps them moving forward instead of stopping and entices them to keep going and walking through the path. Each section is made up of something that you would typically find in nature, and when I created it, I tried to find different things that would entice the children with bright colors and um, different textures and to space them out so that it would attract them to walk on it. I came up with the idea because I saw a picture on a playground in London and I thought I need to have one of those for one of the little guys in my classroom. It took me two and a half months and I sawed and I drilled and I dug things up all summer long. I hope the kids get enjoyment and a true sense of nature when they walk through it. For children, the sensory path helps them take their mind off of all the busy things on the playground that are probably a little overstimulating and it's just a place for them to walk and feel safe and, and relaxed and at one with nature. I even extended the sensory path for a little bit more of the primary aged and probably the upper elementary aged children too by extending um, the names of each of the items that are in the sensory path directly above them so that they can go out there and color it or even write the names of the material that was used in the sensory path. I love the sensory path because the kids love it and it makes them happy to see and it makes me happy to see them walking on it. You like the path? Yeah. So the next time you're at Desert Garden, I invite you to come look at the sensory path over by the infant classroom.